everyone. I've come back with a, um, a mini review on um, two bags that have been um, requested to do. So I've got the, um, the um, two of these ones here. It's the two mini um, bucket bags. So the first one is the Fendi Montresor and the second one is the um, mini um, Gucci Marmont. So I'm currently carrying my um, Dior um, saddle bag that I've decided to take everything out and just show you guys what actually fits into these bags and also um, just a little review on the pricing and um, the weight and just so you have an idea on what fits into these two bags. So um, the first one I've got is the, the mini um, Fendi um, Montresor bucket bag. I've got it in a mesh design. I actually got this on sale on my Teresa for a really good price. So I, I had my eye on this bag for a long time in terms of the style, but I had my eye on the, um, the leather one with the um, Zuka print in the FF. But because this one went on sale, so I was like, oh, it was such a good price to let go. So it was, I think, 14, 1,495 Australian dollars. I think they're usually over $2,000 AUD, but I got that one on sale. Um, and then the second one I um, wanted to show you guys was the Gucci Marmont. I got this from the Gucci store. So Gucci in Australia apparently is probably one of the cheapest countries you can get Gucci. So this one I got from the Gucci store for 1,295 I think. I got this um, last year, just before I went um, on my holidays. So yeah, so let's see what fits into the bag. So I've got my essentials here. I've got a phone, a pair of sunglasses, my um, compact wallet, um, my car keys, my house keys, two lipsticks, so one lipstick and a lip balm actually, and a press powder. So let's start off with my wallet. So with the Fendi bag, um, I find the, the bag is actually quite cute, but the only thing is the strap. The strap that came with it was really thin, it wasn't adjustable, it was actually pretty flimsy. So luckily I had um, a few Fendi bags, so I just took this off another Fendi bag. But I gotta say, it was probably one of the shittest straps that came with the bag. But um, that's probably the, um, the biggest con I've got about this bag. If you get the bag, just beware, the strap is pretty shit. So you may have to purchase another bag. Maybe that was their intention. So you can buy the bag and purchase another strap. Because the strap is really thin, you can't adjust it, and it's actually pretty long. And for someone like me who's quite um, petite, um, I'm like a metre 55 centimetres. So on me, it, like, is that too long? So I had to change it anyhow. Okay, so I've put in my phone, my wallet, my car keys, my house keys. So I'll just put in all my essentials first, and then all the ones that um, I won't, like, I can live without, I'll put it in after. So um, my sunglasses, in Australia it's quite sunny, so I always bring a pair of sunglasses, especially when you're driving. My press powder from MAC, my lipstick from Chanel. So this one here is, uh, is one of my favorites from Chanel. It's the colors called Energy and it's within the range of Rouge Coco Shine. So that's it there. And my lip balm. Um, I get really dry lips, so I always bring a lip balm. This is from Etude House. So it's like a Korean brand. So yeah, so that all fits in quite nicely. I think I've got a little bit more room if I was to fit something else in like just on the top there. Um, let's see if we can close that. Due to the sunglasses and the phone, they're quite big. So um, if I close it, they're still like, you can still see it, but you can still close the bag. So it fits quite nicely in the Montresor. In terms of weight, the bag's actually quite light, but after putting everything in, of course, it's gonna be a lot heavier. So the bag I was carrying was a Dior um, saddle bag. So I've just taken um, all my essentials out of that just to show you guys what fits into this bag. And let's start with the Gucci bag. I'll just take everything out again and just show you guys in um, the same way as what I did with the Fendi bag. So yeah, so that's a Fendi bag there. Now let's move aside to the Gucci bag. The good thing about the Gucci bag is the strap. So when the SA told me it, um, it comes with a chain strap, and usually chain straps aren't that comfortable, but this one here is actually quite comfortable, I find. It did not dig into my shoulders. And the other thing is, even though it's a chain strap, what the essay told me was, you can actually tie knots to adjust it to whatever length you want, and that's what I did. I tied um, knots to adjust it to the length I want, and it sits really nice on my shoulder. I usually don't wear this crossbody, I wear it on my shoulders, so it sits just along my hips there. 
So that's it there. And let's start with the same order again. My wallet, my car key, oh, my house key, sorry. My car keys, my phone. This is just an old phone I've got, just to show you guys actually what fits into the bag. My sunglasses, um, my lipsticks. Oh, actually, maybe my pressed powder first, because that will go in quite nicely. And then the lipsticks can just actually um, go anywhere. So with this one here, it actually fits in a lot tighter. I've actually got no more room to fit inside there. So I think the Fendi one case is a little bit bigger. So you can probably fit like another like lipstick or something in there. But yeah, so that's the um, Fendi um, Gucci Marmot bag. And I'm just gonna try and um, tie, tighten it and tie it up. But with this one here, I find it's actually um, really hard to like close. Maybe because the leather is quite, um, quite new and it's quite, it's not as soft as a monster door. So when you close it, you can't really close it that much. So I think that's the maximum you can do in terms of closure. But um, I'm still in love with the um, Gucci Marmot. A lot of people are over the GGs. They said maybe this year, so many people are over the double Gs in the, in the Marmot style. But I don't care what people think. I love it personally and I'll still keep wearing it. I still own my Gucci belt. It's probably one of my most comfortable belts I wear. And I've also got the, um, the Gucci Marmot in the black design in the flat bag. And this is an addition. And I've also bought a matching belt to this recently. So I'm still not over it yet and I still like it. But there we go. They're the two bags comparison. Um, but in terms of pricing, I got the Fendi on sale, but even though it was on sale, it's still a couple hundred more. And with the Gucci um, bag, it actually retails at a better price. So if you're thinking of a, um, a reasonable price bag, that um, is also, um, if you want a mini bucket bag, maybe the Gucci Marmon. I don't know how much it is in your countries, but in Australia, Gucci is actually um, one of the, like, I think Gucci in Australia is cheaper compared to any other countries in the world. That's what I've heard. So there's always queues at Gucci when you go past there, because a lot of people just queue up, especially people who are tourists, buy a lot from Gucci here, because it is a lot cheaper. But yeah. So yeah, so they're my two comparisons. If you enjoyed this video, please like um, my video. And thank you for watching, guys. Bye.